Okay, a little disclaimer. I recorded my live reaction to the Bethesda A3, and I'm going to talk about and I'm going to upload that at some point. I don't freaking care. I got a lot to talk about. <laughs> God, am I. Okay, listen. I'm a huge Xbox fan. And no, I'm not an Xbox fanboy. Because I love Sony. I, I love Sony. I love Nintendo. I love it all. But my good God. <laughs> my good God. Microsoft's 2018 E3 press conference. I don't even know what to say. I literally, I don't know where to begin. I don't know what to say. My brain's not processing right now. I can't think straight. I'm seeing visions. I, I'm losing my effing mind right now. Because if you watched Microsoft's 2018 A3 press conference, oh my god. <laughs> Halo Infinite. Let me let me let me repeat that for everyone watching this. Halo Infinite. Master <laughs> Master Chief with his old armor with deers <laughs> a new engine 343 Phil spent <laughs> I'm losing my mind Halo Infinite I don't know what to say I don't know where to begin all I know is please please give me the game when me and my friends seen Halo seen Halo Infinite we dang near I don't even know. Like, we dang near hopped out of the place. When we seen that helmet, I gotta go on to other things. I can't talk about Halo Infinite. I wanna make a whole nother video on Halo Infinite. <laughs> okay, let's move on. I'm trying to remember what all they showed. Ori and the Will of the Wisp. If you haven't played the first Ori, it's a great game. From Software's new game, everyone said it was gonna be a Sony show, but it's, it wasn't. If you, if you love Bloodborne and all that stuff, my god, Shadows, whatever that was, like, I can't remember the title, like, I'm, I'm, my brain's not, the game looked great, From Software makes great games, I've never gotten to the Dark, uh, or to the Dark Souls series myself, but I know that they make quality games, um, and they make hard games as well, um, Forza Horizon 4, Dynamic Seasons, beautiful, as usual, but let's get to the big news, ladies and gentlemen. My biggest worry in this conference was that Xbox would let us down. Xbox would not come out and deliver. And my god. Five new first party studios. Everyone's biggest concern with Microsoft going into E3 was what is Microsoft going to do about first party? Yeah, you have Gears and you have Halo and you have Forza, but you really don't have anything else. Five new first-party studios. We were hoping we would get one new first-party studio. We got five. The Initiative, led by Daryl Gallagher. Playground Games. Ninja Theory. Undead Labs. And Compulsion Games. Are all going to be making first-party games for Microsoft. And ladies and gentlemen... I said if Fable 4 got confirmed, I would make a twerking video. Well, Fable 4 didn't get technically confirmed, but we all know it's been rumored that Playground Games is making Fable 4, and listen to what Phil Spencer said. When he, when he announced that they bought Playground Games, he said, they're going to continue making Forza Horizon, and they're also, excuse me, they're also going to bring their open world expertise to a new open world RPG or open world game or whatever. That's Fable 4, ladies and gentlemen. Fable 4 is early, and they didn't want to show anything, and I understand that. Fable 4 is confirmed. Playground Games is making it. But you go and get a studio like Ninja Theory, who just made a game, Hellblade, which was first exclusive to PlayStation, then it came to Xbox, that people loved. It won, it won awards at the Game Awards. It was a great single-player game. They are now Microsoft's, and they're going to be making single-player games for Microsoft. I swear, like, honestly, Phil Spencer came out and answered all of our questions. All of the Xbox fans' worries, they are put the rest, put to rest, I, put, I said put the rest, put to rest. Oh, my God. Five new first-party studios. <laughs> yeah, let's continue. They showed Kingdom Hearts. 
Everyone said Kingdom Hearts would be a Sony show, and they showed Kingdom Hearts. They showed Fallout 76. They showed Dying Light 2. They showed a new skate game session, um, which is ex exclusive. Um, new PUBG content, new Sea of Thieves content. Cyberpunk 2077, which if you've played The Witcher 3 this generation, you should be excited right now because that's their new game, and it looked freaking mind-blowing. Like, I know there's games I'm going to be forgetting, and I'm sorry, but this is just like, it's raw, it's my raw reaction, and I'm just trying to remember everything they showed. Honest to God, I mean, when I seen Halo Infinite, I was ready to turn it off. Like, honestly, like when I seen Halo Infinite, I was like, I don't need anything else. I got Halo Infinite. I'm good. <sighs> Let's move on to Gears. Um, I mentioned before that, you know, I was, like, I love Gears of War, but I wasn't that excited, like, to make, or, or, or not to make, to see Gears of War. But the Coalition freaking blew me away because Gears 5 looked mind-blowing the graphics in that game looked great and the story mm, i love gear like i love gears i don't want people to think i don't because gears of war 4 was a great game i, I like i love gears but i just i kind of wanted to see fable like i wanted the fable to end the show but gears 5 really looked like a game that i could be very excited for <sighs> well I, I, microsoft Microsoft, I, I, I honestly, like, I just don't know what to say, like, all of my fears and all of my worries, they're just gone. My biggest worry was we would have no first party studios to look forward to, maybe one, maybe, but like, and Feel Legit just came out and announced five new first, like, that excites me almost as much as Halo Infinite. Like, I love Halo. You guys know I love Halo. I get excited in certain areas of my body. A very specific area of my body when I see Master Chief. Like, there, a certain part of my body rises when I see Master Chief. I'm not going to lie. But five new first-party studios. That is insane. And the last thing to mention... For all of you Ubisoft people and all of you weird people that's saying no more console generations, feel mother effing sexy comb over Spencer said the next Xbox is in production. Legit. I wasn't even expecting him to say nothing about the next Xbox. We know that the next gen is coming in probably 2020. But the dude said we are deep in in development or whatever of the next Xbox it's very likely that Halo Infinite is a next gen title did you see the graphics the graphics on Halo Infinite that was an in engine <laughs> Halo <laughs> Halo uh, Phil Spencer you blew me away today <laughs> like you oh my god God, dude, like, again, I, I'm sorry if I miss games, I, I just can't think of everything, it's just like, there's certain, five, five first party studios, Battletoads, <laughs> Battletoads, dude, I forgot about Battletoads, <laughs> Battletoads is back, that was like a total, like, I feel like it's getting swept under the rug because of like how insane today was, Battletoads is back, and coming 2000, you can tell I'm excited this isn't an act this is just pure raw excitement because these last heck these last few years for an Xbox fan has been hard this was the greatest E3 from Microsoft I've ever seen I hope tomorrow that Sony and them keep it up and we get more good shows and Nintendo does good because this could very well be one of the greatest E3s of all time Microsoft Phil Spencer, if I could kiss you, I would. I'd kiss the lips of yours. Five first-party studios, Halo Infinite, Master Chief. I'm going to go cry. <laughs>